Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxy the Leo, and today we are doing another pick a card. Um, this pick a card it doesn't really have a general topic. I've titled it "This Message Will Find You When You Need It." Um, I was gonna do a completely different topic, but Spirit was like, kind of pushing me to do this sort of reading instead to try and get whatever message needed to come out um so this is you know even if you're watching this in like a year's time and you already watched it like a year before you know what i mean whenever this um lands on your feed or whenever you come across it and it stands out to you um just take that as a sign or a message um that there is messages in these piles for you or even if you're watching it when it goes up um we're just going to be channeling your energy and seeing if there's any um guidance any words of wisdom um just anything from your guides and spirit or your higher self wants to kind of relate to you um that was the purpose of me doing this reading basically um so we have three piles in front and i decided to use really small crystals today um nothing mystical behind it i just felt like doing it i normally use more bigger ones but i thought let's go so the crystals that i have used for pile number one we have the sunstone for pile number two we have this tiny baby shungite People say Shanghai, but like everything that I read, I like self-teach myself a lot. I always get the wrong words, so I say Shanghai, but I think it's Shanghai. I say it a bit different. Anyway, um, pile number three then is the, oh goodness, pile number three then is the Malachite. So like always, um, I'm going to ask you guys to pause the video, meditate, do what you like to do to get in the zone. As always, the timestamps are going to be in the description box. Um, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hey, pal number one, welcome to your reading. So we are currently taking a look at what messages your spirit guides have for you right now. Um, so I'm going to start with tarot and then we'll make our way around the tarot through the oracle cards. And I have one last card um, at the end for you guys. So you guys have the ace of wands, the knight of pentacles, the nine of wands, the nine of swords, and the six of swords. Now, when I said the nine of wands, the nine of swords, nine you know, that really stuck out to me. And nine, especially when we're going through like a personal year number nine, or just that nine energy in general, you know what I mean? It's it's a releasing, it's a letting go. It's letting go of the past. And I feel like there's still fragments of your past that are still sticking around you. Um, Whether you are aware, whether it's subconscious, or whether it's just patterns that you still um have not let go of yet that are i wouldn't necessarily say holding you back but they're stunting you from reaching um like full confidence full peace with yourself um is what actually i'm being told there's something with the ace of wands that you really want to manifest or bring in now i don't know whether this is like you want a new relationship a new love um you want a new job you want uh, money uh or you just want to feel good and and feel the best version of yourself and you're trying to manifest the best version of yourself in but with the knight of pentacles here it's almost like it's stuck almost it's like you feel like there's a hurdle you can't get over there's an energy maybe you always go back to factory settings there's an energy of you still i feel uh stuck in the mud is how i feel i feel stuck in the mud i feel like i i have a vision but i i have all these ideas i have all this creativity but there's something that i can't quite put my finger on that is not allowing what i want to come to fruition that is not allowing what i want to um kind of manifest as my reality right now and straight after that you have the nine of wands so there is i f it's different messages for a lot of you there's with the nine of swords and the six of swords below as well there's there's that talks about grief it talks about baggage it talks about um weighing you down i'm literally being shown somebody trying to swim up to the top of the water but there's like a chain holding them down like an anchor holding them down and they're trying to swim up and 
it's like this energy of needing to instead of focusing upward right now you need to look down at your ankle and let go of that chain before you can swim up um spirit is saying there's this energy of you having all these ideas and wanting to jump forward and 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 go out and I, I there's an energy here of frustration i'm completely hearing your frustration like i i can feel it you're getting frustrated you you know why does everybody get x y and z everybody why does other people get a relationship why do other people get abundance like that why don't i have it but we all have different pathways in life and different lessons to learn. And I feel like, I don't know whether you're breaking karmic baggage, karmic lessons from your family, um, whether there was like um, a lot of karmic relationships throughout your family and the, maybe um, either the females or the males kind of gave too much of themselves and people pleased. Um, at the expense of themselves and were met with a lot of narcissists and then you maybe have had a karmic relationship and you really want a soulmate but you ended up with a karmic relationship and now it's like how does everybody get that pure love and I don't but what you're being called to do is release what it is that's causing this to come in because when we are met with um, continuous cycles of uh, let's say a karmic relationship. Let's use me for example. Spirit is saying to use my experience, so I'm going to. I, I never been one that genuinely wanted love very much, um, but I ended up drawing somebody in, um, who was a karmic relationship, right? And I people pleased this person. This person was like a narcissist. They had substance abuse issues. They were just not very nice. And I people pleased. I tried to fix them. I tried to heal them. They ended up leaving me anyway. Now, at that point, my heart was completely open. So I was looking actively or wanting a soulmate, wanting a relationship, but I was deeply wounded. And I didn't even realize that I was, because you don't realize it. You don't realize that there's situations that you haven't healed. I thought me forgiving him for what he did was the only lesson that I was learning. And then I ended up seeing somebody else and I gave a lot of myself and then they hurt me again. And I thought, oh my God. And then I got with somebody else and they hurt me again and this pattern kept happening until one day when i you know i kind of worked i'd been meditating and i'd kind of evolved a bit spiritually at that point and i looked at this pattern as like hang on this is an actual pattern this keeps happening and there's no letting up why and i had to turn within and see why is this happening there's what is going on and i had to keep looking and dissecting to see that there was an imbalance because I was given but I was not putting my needs on the table and that was when I broke it because then I learned boundaries I went on a full self-love journey that I'm still on to learn to love myself to learn to care for myself and put my needs on the table and make sure somebody had like looks at them and has them before I open my heart to somebody I had to learn that to break the cycle and there's an energy here of you wanting to reach the top of the water but the thing is if you have an anchor stuck to your leg and you're trying to swim to the top of the water that's just not gonna happen the only way that it's I'm not saying that to reach the top of the water you can't because all you've got to do is look down at your leg and tie those change chains and then swim up so there's something bubbling under the surface that needs to be addressed maybe it's insecurities maybe you want to get out there get your name out there um you know maybe get loads of subscribers on youtube and teach on youtube maybe you know get out there on stage and sing and dance and do what you want to do but you keep being held back um that's something subconscious that's an insecurity within and i know some people say um I've had like a comment, it was only like one comment, it was a while ago and I was saying about when we want something we can truly have it and somebody said sometimes it's just not our path and that's completely true, sometimes things are just not our path but if we have something that's deeply resonating within us that wouldn't be bubbling within us unless it was supposed to be reached and I know we talk about divine timing and lessons and whatnot but yes we're supposed to go through a lot of healing and a lot of purification in this lifetime but at the end of the day we're here to be happy we are here to be abundant and we're here to bring literally heaven to earth you know what i mean that's what raising everybody's consciousness is bringing everybody to 5d that's creating heaven on earth because what is heaven it's just the higher realms the higher vibration so 
whatever it is that we want, we can get. And whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it's yours. But there's other things. If something isn't coming in straight away, it's because something else needs to be looked at. So you want to look within and see, is there something that's holding me back? Because the fact that the Six of Swords and um, the Nine of Swords were used to clarify this energy of why nothing's budging there's something you're still grieving internally there's something that you're not letting go of was it words that people said to you when you were younger was it words that um you know were you always told to maybe it's your approach because i'm hearing maybe you're always told to get your head down and you know really push yourself but the thing is, is if we get our heads in and we push ourselves too much, there has to be a duality where we look after ourselves because that means we can become hard on ourselves and we can become critical of ourselves. And if we are being critical, we are always telling ourselves that we are not enough. That is putting out an energy to the universe that we are not enough. So then we are not in vibration with what we want to manifest. So there's different ways, you guys. You know what I mean? Maybe you are manifesting, manifesting, manifesting. It's all in, in your mind. You have the ideas, but you don't have the masculinity side of you balanced out to put those energies forward you know what i mean you haven't quite figured that out or maybe for some others of you guys i'm showing like a brain with like um loads of squiggles and clouds so it's like you have the ideas and you have the drive but you're like okay i want to get from a to z but how do i get there because obviously you need to go from A to B to C to D. So it's like, how on earth do I create this plan? I want to get this out there, but how do I get the funds? And what Spirit is saying is, take one piece at a time. This is playing me the Jordan Spark song, One Step at a Time. So maybe go listen to this, uh, listen to that song after this. But they're saying stepping stones. You need to do one at a time. Um, Say now you want to, say now you want to start YouTube, right? And you're like, I don't have the funds, I don't have a camera, I don't have a mic, I don't have a laptop, I don't have anything like that. What do I do? Well, the first thing you want to do is look at what you already have. Can you make the first step with what you already have? When I started doing YouTube, like I didn't even have like a mic or anything like that. I just used my phone, right? I didn't have like mics and things. I, I didn't have that. And as time went on and I started making money and I was doing readings, I was able to get myself with with more you know what i mean i was able to then buy a laptop i was able to do these things so it's like i used what i had i utilized what i already had created the first layer and slowly built my way up you know there may be even energies where you're looking at other people and they seem to have it all and you're like how can i compete and it's like yeah okay this person may have that or this person may have that but you have you you have your talents you have your gift and you're unique to this world and you're needed you know what i mean and i feel like there's something to do with self-confidence where you're not seeing yourself uh very well i don't know whether you have like neptune in the first house saturn in the first house you're not seeing yourself for the gifted talented soul that you are you're not seeing it um this they're taking me to the the um solar plexus to say in manipura manipura they're taking me to the solar plexus so i don't know whether you guys maybe had um issues in childhood with self-worth maybe people knocked you down a little bit but spirit's saying this is actually where that anger that may be holding you down is coming from your solar plexus your self-worth maybe you put your self-worth in other people's hands um where you only felt good if they were giving you attention or affection or they were kind of cheerleading you in a way um like you wanted other people's approval or something like that and the spirits like you need to find that within you you need to champion yourself because that's how you elevate yourself you know what i mean it's, it's they're taking me to the solar plexus um but it's also something emotional that's attached to it or there's maybe just some of you guys that are attached to something from your past like um maybe a relationship or something like that maybe you gave a lot of yourself to a relationship and now you just feel empty to go and do what you want to do maybe you gave a lot of your power to somebody else and now you're just like i don't have a lot of confidence within me um i would suggest reiki because spirit are telling me to suggest reiki for you but i'm hearing just like maybe even just like laying in bed and um listening to singing bowls that um on youtube a lot of youtubers do like um i'll probably do this at one point i have a plan to actually do this for you do some guided meditations and some meditations with my singing bowls but um i'm not doing it yet so if you go on youtube 
um, and type in like um, singing bowl meditation for the solar plexus and maybe listen to that in the morning or maybe at night before you go to bed. That will really help you. Another thing that I would say, because they're telling me to tell you to write things out, what you're worried about, what you're scared about, your doubts, your fears, um, what's holding you back and release it, burn it. Maybe do this on a full moon, burn it and let the kind of like smoke go and visualize all your fears going. That's what I'm hearing um, for you guys because it's coming more so from confidence. It's more so confidence. And I feel like you're very hard on yourself as well. Um, and Spirit Saints may be, to be honest with you, I feel like you have the drive, you're just hard on yourself. Maybe you are guys have a lot of Virgo in your chat, Sun, Moon, Rising are just a lot of Virgo. When we think of Virgos, sometimes Virgos can be quite perfectionists. They like to perfect everything. They become very hard on themselves. I know because my Mercury's in Virgo and I'm very like perfectionist, you know what I mean? So um, it could be that guys, but I'm, it's, if they've just taken me to the solar plexus, self-confidence, you know what I mean? Um, we then have, um, on the sides, guys, we have feelings and be spontaneous. So with the feelings card, have a look at when you're scared, when you're worried, when you're frightened to step forward, when you're feeling low, when you want to reach a goal or you're trying to manifest a goal and then you have these fears of doubts crop up, hold on to them. I feel like you try to bat them away spirit is saying no you need to hold on to them and really look them in the eye and be like why are you here what is this why do i feel this way and really dissect that maybe get into like a meditated state and bring up those feelings and ask yourself these questions one of the things i was doing when i was trying to clear out blockages where i would i would get it i would before i'd go into the meditation i'd ask myself questions like deep questions that i knew would be kind of hard to answer that i couldn't even answer in that moment and then i would get into a deep 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 meditated state and i would read the questions that i'd ask myself and i would literally therapy myself because i'm a lone wolf and i don't like to talk to people very much like that i'm more of somebody like i'll do it to myself i like to counsel myself so i would speak out loud as if i was talking to a therapist and say where those worries were coming from, where those fears were coming from. And I'd be able to try and trace it back or follow the the line back as to where it came from. And it always stemmed from my childhood. So I would actually, you know, definitely suggest that to you if you guys are into that sort of thing. I know that wouldn't be everybody's cup of tea, but that's what I've done and it's really helped with me because I feel like there's a lot of feelings attached to your solar plexus and your confidence. Like there's ego wounds, it feels, ego wounds that need to be addressed because what you're manifesting is going to come in, but this needs to be addressed first. You know what I mean? If somebody has like a, um, a cut on their leg and it's bleeding they're not going to go and run a marathon they're going to tend to the cut first before they go on that marathon you know what i mean otherwise they're going to be running they're going to be in pain it's going to bleed out and they'll probably collapse halfway through and not even reach the end we want to make sure that everything's internally there so there's no blockages spirit is saying we then have be spontaneous i feel like you guys are in your head a lot and you structure things out a lot um you guys may be like a virgo, virgo sun virgo moon uh what else am i picking up uh, Capricorn Taurus, it's quite earthy energy to be honest, but I'm also picking up Aquarius as well, um, you guys are quite in your mind, you don't like to delve into your emotions too much, or even if you do, you're just, um, you're so mental, you're in your mind, I don't mean mental like crazy, I mean you're like mentally stimulated, you're in your mind a lot, and you think too much sometimes, and when you think, when your mind goes like that that's your gift like i do feel like that's your gift i feel like you have this beautiful brain this beautiful imagination but like everything there's a duality and if we're too much in our head that can have us cause mental blockages and i feel like spirits calling you to maybe let loose sometimes and maybe do things that you wouldn't usually do um i feel like some of you guys may be lone wolves so you just don't like to do things spontaneously you like to structure everything out Guys, I can put my hand up to that. I'm exactly the same. But Spirit is calling you to be spontaneous. Spirit are calling you to let go. Um, do something that you haven't done before. Um, leap into the unknown. I feel like sometimes you restrict yourself sometimes because you worry, you know, and Spirit's calling you to let go of that. And underneath then, guys, we have doubt. I released the need to know all the answers. So this is what I was saying. I feel like you need to know sometimes 
um how is it i feel like you guys may like watch a lot of pick a cards are you read your own tarot are you call psychics are you talk to psychics are you just want to know how something's gonna plan out like instead of a relationship just running its course and being spontaneous with it you want to know how it's gonna happen what's gonna happen how long you're gonna be together is this a waste of time like you want to know everything um are you um even if you're just going somewhere or you're starting a new job or something it's like okay what time when are we doing this what's going on where is this gonna lead am i gonna be happy who's gonna be there what color is the hair like you literally want to know like everything almost and it's like that's fine i guess but the thing is is that that's not necessarily living life to its fullest because you're always in your head and trying to um trying to control you know um and life is meant to be spontaneous life is meant to be mutable life is meant to be um living in the present and living for the now and not worrying because this what's happening is you're forward thinking so much you're worrying about what could go wrong so i don't know whether there was a lot of shake-ups in your childhood where a lot of things happen very unexpected maybe you guys have a lot of uranus like aspects in your chart and things like that but there's just this energy of um you wanting to create order and you wanting to create um you wanting to know a b c do you know what i mean do you understand what i mean i'm trying to put this into words you want to know everything before you do it and spirit is saying no that's the beauty of life you've got to be vulnerable and take the leap leap and the net will appear you know and then we have courage it's funny that that jumped out like straight after courage i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence so i'm really i really do feel like what's blocking the courage what's blocking the free spiritedness what's blocking the I'm just going to leap into the unknown is the lack of trust within yourself um you don't trust yourself to create abundance in a way you don't trust yourself to manifest it's like you're doubting yourself um and that's coming because of maybe your childhood wounds maybe you were told that you couldn't reach something or maybe so much happened that you just lost trust for everything as well as the universe and yourself and i feel like that's what's being called to look at where did that stem from how can you heal that maybe do some shadow work on that and release that because i feel like that's what's going to bring in the abundance with the ace of wands that you're trying to manifest you know and then oh my god wait hang on are they detached wait okay i thought there were chains hanging onto their feet then but it's not but still unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives and what was i saying about the um the anchor the anchor is kind of like like holding you down to the ground and this card literally says unbound released in soul patterns contracts and past lives so whatever it was that made you very controlled or made you very um focused and i need to know this and i need to do that and and that worry to kind of put everything in order i do f they're showing me four four maybe in the number four significance you guys may be a life actually you guys may be a life path four or soulage for expansion number four something like that because the number four they don't like to take risks they like to plan build know what's going on you know be on the grounded side of things and i maybe that's you guys maybe you have four a lot in your numerological chart i don't know but um spirits saying it's it's cool to take a risk it's cool to take a risk here and there you know what i mean and um I feel like that's going to help you unbound, you know what I mean? Because it's coming, it's rooted from fear. I don't know if this has come from a past life. This could actually come with you from your past life. So if you've had this since you were young and you don't know where this came from and you've had it since you were quite young, um, as for as long as you can remember, it could have come from a past life and maybe you want to look into past life regressions or looking at where you can... Um, Maybe go into like hypnotherapy or see if you can get like a past life regression um, reading. I do past life regressions for myself. And one of the videos that I've, um, my friend actually showed it to me, shout out Sam, hey Sam. Um, but there's a YouTube video, it's called the past life regression. I can't remember the name, but you guys will know the video because it's all blue in the background and it has what looks like an egg or a doorway or a circle. It's like an oval shape in the middle and it's a past life regression video and it's like an hour long. So make sure you have time for it. And it takes you to your past lives. You have to kind of like relax your mind and it kind of, you go into like a deep trance of a meditation and you can go into past lives. And that was really like 
wow for me you know what i mean so i really um would suggest that if maybe you had this all your life and you don't feel like it came from childhood it could be from a past life so maybe take a look into that and the next card we have guys is play have fun celebrate don't be so serious i feel like you guys have forgotten how to have fun almost you've forgotten how to be carefree you've forgotten how to um live in the moment you've forgotten how to enjoy i don't know I, maybe there's like not a very good work play balance or maybe you're just kind of telling yourself well i don't have time to play i don't have time to have fun but spirit saying don't let go of your inner child because your inner child is where your creativity comes from your inner child is where your pure heart comes from your inner child is where your light comes from don't lose sight of that maybe do things to nurture your inner child maybe watch some tv programs you did when you were young um maybe um i don't know get up and dance or something like that whatever you know when you think when i think of like my inner child like i remember like dancing to high school musical in my bedroom like that's what i do and honestly if i'm trying to connect to my inner child i'll stick on some high school musical i'm not even joking and i still love doctor who i don't know whether any of you guys have watched that and i still do to this day to be honest with you my inner child's like still intact really but um i to this day we'll just watch doctor who because it like brings me back to when i was like a little star seed a little child and they were going through space time traveling and i was like whoa that is the life i want to live <laughs> so that always takes me back to my childhood so i like to do things like that that take me back there um so spirits maybe calling you if maybe if you, you abandon something in your childhood like art painting just a little hobby like that maybe bring it back something that brought you joy that can really help to uplift your spirit and the final card that came out was the shark card guys and the shark card in this um in this tack in this deck um it basically talks about something lurking under the water something um kind of slyly sneakily lurking under the water so i don't know whether you don't even realize that these habits are holding you back um of like a lack in the confidence or something like that i don't know whether you're not aware of it but this is coming through very much like it's in your subconscious it's there you're able to access it but it's like you don't like to maybe dive too deep sometimes you know what i mean you don't like to um dive too deep and it's funny because where is it you know like i was just literally saying dive too deep this card is at the back of the deck and it literally says dive deep so spirit's calling you to really take a look at your emotions and see where this is um stemming from because the other card that came as well the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you so i don't know whether you're still holding on to old experiences and maybe you don't like to think about them because they bring you a lot of shame or a lot of guilt the spirit's calling you to really look at them and really release them because when it says it's not happening it's, it's happening for you and not to you your experiences have happened for your own soul's growth to learn to um become stronger you know what i mean we can go out and um try and become let's say a healer having not gone through anything in our lives but had we not learned to heal ourselves first you know we can read all the books that we want but it's not going to have us um understand it at an energy level whereas a lot of healers when they they come into this life they go through a lot of negative experiences and a lot of dark experiences um which is kind of called a healer's initiation to be able to experience that and become stronger and be able to heal other people because they heal themselves so with that being said when we have certain experience certain experiences happening to us do you guys stutter sometimes i feel like one or two of you guys may have a stutter um that comes from like Conf like lack of confidence or feeling shy or feeling anxious as a child because i'm stuttering a bit um so that may be something that you've dealt with um or still deal with um because that's kind of coming through here um that may tie in with it as well um but spirit is saying whatever's happened has happened to make you stronger it's helped you gain wisdom you know and that's what spirit is saying here so that is all i have for you guys today i really hope that you enjoyed this um hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy i do want to say at the back of the tower deck you do have the ace of pentacles so whatever endeavor you are thinking of it's going to bring you in a lot of money and it is something that is your path. So don't look at it like it's not your path or tell yourself like, I want to give up because this isn't my path because it has the means to bring you in a lot of money or reach a certain point. You know what I mean? It does. Um, But they're just saying to, you know, deep dive and look at what is holding you back, you know? 
I don't know why Spirit just told me to say that. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm sending you guys lots of love. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal two, welcome to your reading. So we are currently looking at what messages the universe has for you today. Any guidance that your spirit guides have or your higher self or your ancestors. We are just looking at whatever advice, um, encouragement, words of encouragement um, and guidance that is coming through for you right now. Um, so I'm going to start off with the tarot in the middle and then we'll move around to the oracles on the outer side of the reading. So... You guys have the Five of Wands reversed, the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. So what I'm really picking up from you guys straight away, it was coming through when I was shuffling, like you guys are going through some sort of shift in your life. Um, for some of you guys, it's a spiritual awakening, it's a spiritual ascension. For others of you, it's literally just a shift um a karmic phase is coming to the end and a new one is rolling out there's a lot of endings and beginnings and if that isn't happening in your outer world well like jobs are changing and friendships and relationships are shifting um if that isn't happening then it's happening on an inner level there's releasing going on there's um maybe things and experiences and feelings from the past rising up into your conscious now to um to be released and i feel like you guys are kind of going through it a little bit or at least you're in a energy of conf like you're feeling quite confused and if you're not i just feel like you don't feel like you have the ground under your feet right now you feel like everything's upside down and i, f I feel you guys being like what's wrong with me or have I, have I gone into like another spiral again? You know, am I depressed? What's going on? Is everything that I've worked for falling down? Like you guys are kind of almost blaming yourself in a way or even at least trying to find answers as to why you're feeling the way you are. Asking your spirit guides to explain to you why you're feeling the way you are um i just feel like you're trying to look for answers because i don't feel like you guys are the type of people that will lay down and take um any feelings of depression sadness i really do feel i'm here in aries some of you guys may have a lot of aries in your chat or just have aries near sun moon rising um on more of your inner planets but i'm just I'm feeling like you guys are the type of people that will tackle anything dead on and you won't let anything keep you down for long. And I feel like it's almost frustrating you because for some of you guys, it's just this heavy weight of feeling empty or just feeling low. Or you guys are just feeling a lot more emotional than usual. And you're just like, why am I feeling this? Why is everything shifting? And then for a select few of you, there's a lot of shifts. Like maybe you're switching jobs or friends are falling away or relationships are falling away. And you, I almost feel like you want to scream or again frustrated in a way like, what is going on why do i feel like this and it's almost um a feeling of you guys feeling imbalanced like you almost feel imbalanced like maybe you can't find your light or you're not feeling as enthusiastic as you were and you're trying to find a stable ground or you're trying to feel um or find a way to um bring yourself up to you know the surface and and take a breath but you just kind of feel like oh my god what is going on you just can't put your finger on what's going on um but i'm here to tell you you're growing you're releasing and you're shifting i don't know whether you purposefully um have been working on yourself shadow work releasing letting go um, or whether it's just a new phase that you're walking into and you haven't realized it yet but there's an ending in your life for a new beginning because you're stepping into more of an alignment of who you are and the thing is about growth we literally have the card growth here the thing is about growth um it looks easy doesn't it when, when we hear especially when we hear people when they go through spiritual experiences and they, they grow it almost sometimes seems like it's this beautiful like um fairy like coming out of a flower like that's how we sometimes like to perceive what growth is like that's not what growth is growth is you know getting your hands dirty and dealing with karmic wounds releasing letting go going inwards you know growth for me for many times has me been laying in my bed crying my eyes out wondering what was wrong with me that was growth for me at times because growth isn't this 
um, perfect, happy experience because to grow, we have to let go. And to grow, we can't elevate to the next level if we're chained by something from the past, if we're chained by our um, old patterns, if we're chained by our, our own insecure, our old insecurities, if we're chained by old relationships. We can't because what they do, even if they're in our subconscious more than our conscious, they create ties that hold us into the vibration that we're in. So to grow, we have to let go. You know, do you know like you cut the weeds? You know what I mean? So they don't cause any damage. It's kind of like the soul. You kind of got to cut the weeds. You know what I mean? To lay more ground for more flowers to grow because it's coming to spring. And that's basically what's happening and what's been happening for you. You've been shifting. You've been changing. And great growth isn't easy, but you will reach such high heights once you get to the top of that mountain. And I don't even feel like it's a sense of anything that spirit's calling you to necessarily do other than take it easy on yourself right now. You guys are such like warriors. Like you feel down, you'll do anything to get yourself back up. But spirit's like, don't be so hard on yourself right now. And you know, if you feel like you need to lay in bed, lay in bed. If you feel like you need to sleep in, sleep in. If you feel like you need to cry, this is one thing that they're really highlighting. If you feel an emotion from the past and you're like, wait, no, I can't cry about this because I've done so much work on myself and I shouldn't be crying about this. It's releasing. It's, it's not crying about it because it's still um, in your energetic frequency. The reason you're crying about it is because it's made its way from its, your subconscious into your conscious mind, rise to the surface for you to finally feel it, to release it. To release something, we have to feel it. And when feelings have been brought down into our subconscious... Um, it's because we didn't deal with it with it at the time because it was too painful. So we pushed it down, whether we knew we were doing it or not. So what's happening is you've been doing the work. You've been untying the knots. You've been releasing. You're not going backwards. You're not going wrong. You're not going down the wrong path. It's coming up to release. And another thing that I want to say is... For some of you guys, you know that you're doing releasing work. You know that you're doing shadow work. You know that you're letting go. But... You're like, okay, but I've released now. Surely I should be feeling better. But this is something Spirit actually told me when I was wondering why I wasn't feeling better. I'd, um, let me give an example of one of the times I was releasing something. I had a karmic relationship, right? And it burnt me. It proper killed me. It took a while. I was going in circles with this person for a long time. And I did my work and I did my boundaries and my, like, worked on my boundaries with myself and I released this person. And within about six months of me doing that work, this person started playing on my mind and I actually started watching pick a cards like literally to um find out what was going on and I didn't feel you know I went through a phase where I didn't care about this person but all of a sudden it was coming up and I started telling myself no like I shouldn't be thinking of this person why is this coming up and it felt like I was going wrong but what was happening was I was releasing right so I finally released and I was expecting, because sometimes when we release, we can just be expanded forward and we feel like we're skipping through the meadows for a little bit because we feel like that. And I didn't feel like that straight away. And I asked Spirit, I said, Spirit, like, I've, you know, I've done the release and I've chilled out now and I'm still not feeling up to par. What is going on? And Spirit said to me, when you have a cut and it heals over, right? And, you, you know, you kind of get the... The skin kind of heals over it. Sorry to sound a bit ill, but you know what I mean. When it heals over, when that scar heals over, you've got to wait for that um, that mark to kind of go. And to do that, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep picking at it? No, because you want it to heal properly. You want to leave it and you want to let it rest and you want to give it time to heal. So that's what is happening here. I feel like some of you guys have already done the releasing and then you're wondering why you haven't picked yourself back up. But I feel like for some of you guys, you've healed something really deep, like family issues deep, like childhood deep. And even though that's coming out, it's coming out in spirals. You know what I mean? It's coming out. Um, It's... You know the spiritual spiral, I said this in a video the other day, you know the spiritual spiral and it starts in the middle and it goes all the way around until it fades out and right in the middle is the ego, right? Right in the middle of the is the ego and as it spirals out, it's consciousness. So when you first heal this wound, you were healing it on an ego level, you were healing it at the 
like core of where it was at but what it has to do is it has to keep spiraling around and around and each time it goes around and around it's less painful and less painful and less painful until it's finally released that's what they're showing me for you guys like some of you guys have already done the releasing and it's just coming around one last time for you to really make sure it's all cleared out so that it can finally heal that's what I'm being told. But for some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys are just very confused and you don't know what's going on. This is a karmic shift. You're shifting. But what Spirit is saying is, I know right now you guys are feeling like the Five of Cups. You're feeling very disappointed. You feel like you're going wrong. But I see the energy lifting. The way they're making me feel is this heavy weight that you've been feeling being lifted very soon. I'm seeing the number two. So if you're watching this right now, or at any time really they're saying that could mean february or it could mean in two months for some of you guys i'm actually hearing it's two weeks they're actually saying um if you guys are watching this now they're saying the full moon in leo let me check how many weeks i have my calendar here it's one two that's two and a half weeks away so that's less than three weeks away so it could be around that time you'll start feeling upright again. But there's something about the Leo full moon or just Leo, maybe if you're near Leo season when you're watching this, Leo season, but I'm seeing two, two, February, two months, two weeks. Take that as it resonates, but they're showing me a lifting, you know? I'm seeing you feeling very good on top of the world. Like, that's how, I'm seeing you guys being full of energy. Lately, you haven't been feeling full of energy. I see that coming back. So I want to give you that kind of grace and that knowing that, that if you are feeling kind of hopeless this light will come back and that lights within you it's not you know it's not something that um you're lacking it's within you it's just that right now especially if you've been doing some shadow work um our chakras can sometimes get a bit tired out and we need to bring them back into alignment and i'm hearing because spirit keeps showing me a bubble bath i don't know whether you guys like baths or you kind of ground yourself in water maybe like a dead sea salt bath or a salt bath or something like that you guys like water and you ground in water and you heal in water so we either get by the ocean but they keep showing me a bath um they could be showing that me that is in self-care so take some time out for yourself you just need to kind of allow yourself to fall back into alignment you've been going through a lot of shift and even if you don't feel like you have been you have been um energetically you know and with the nine of pentacles and the empress like i really see this is the era that you're moving into the next era that you get into there's a lot of blessings coming in i see a significant like soulmate coming in for you guys and i don't know why i'm being shown like furniture so i don't know whether you're like buying a house or moving into a house because they're showing me furniture um for a house like a couch and a tv and a table and things like that so i don't know whether you're having like a move around they could be telling you guys to maybe move your room around a bit of feng shui going on there um but i'm I'm seeing something about a movement of of um household deco and things so i don't know whether you may be moving into a house but definite soulmate or significant soulmate friendship something's coming in for you guys um that's really going to um be a blessing to you they're really going to help you if you guys are connected with spirit and this is a spiritual awakening i feel like you may find a spiritual mentor soon i feel like somebody's going to come in and help you soon but there's a lot of abundance to come for you guys as well i am being shown a car i don't know whether some of you guys are looking to buy a new car or pass your test but i see something to do with a car as well um so we then have inner knowing and free spirit on the side you guys i really do feel I feel like because you're trying to make sense of how you're feeling, I feel like you're very focused on the like exoteric right now. Like you're focused on social media or what's going on or maybe your job's getting a lot of focus or you're giving a lot of your focus to other people. And spirits like calling you to look within um, because you can you'll know what to do if you look within i feel like i'm hearing fitness as well some of you guys some of you guys your spirit guides have been trying to contact you and telling you to maybe move your body around a little bit maybe do a bit of yoga or just like a quick go for a quick run or do something to get your energy moving around your body one of your spirit guides they're saying they've been trying to contact you to do that so i don't know whether you've been getting messages and dreams or whether you guys are clairvoyant yourself and they've been trying to kind of get your attention to do that but um yeah i'm um i'm hearing that but i'm hearing you guys do have a good connection to spirit and i'm actually being called for you to maybe take a day off social media and 
uh, they're saying when I said social media somebody spoke guys in and a day off the TV too I feel like sometimes you might get distracted by TVs and watching on um, TV but um spirit saying to maybe turn off all electronics and sit in silence and really sit with your thoughts maybe get a journal and write down your feelings or just meditate and see what comes to mind because I feel like your path um, to feel it a bit light out can come from that as well is what I'm say uh, is what I'm hearing. Um, they want you to almost um reconnect, maybe get out in nature or something like that. I'm hearing you guys actually get um psychic downloads in nature. So whether you're by the ocean in the forest, something like that, you get psychic downloads. It's just for some of you. I'm hearing even if you don't, I feel like if you get out to nature, I feel like you find you might. You know what I mean? Because, you know, like, um, I like to think of, like, especially when I'm in the forest, I like to think, you know, like, TVs and they have the aerial signals, they have the antennas to kind of pick up, um, like, radio on TV and things like that. I like to think that, like, the trees and, like, the branches are, like, the signals for, like, spirit. You know what I mean? Because, obviously, spirit's connected to, like, Mother Gaia and I like to think it's, like, their signals to, like, Mother Gaia and that's how I receive messages so that's what they're showing me so i feel like that would really help you guys if you don't do that already um and with the self-esteem card i do feel like what you're actually healing is um blockages in your um solar plexus it's funny because the solar plexus came up in the first week and it's coming up in the second. Your healing blockages in your solar plexus. Your healing blockages in regards to your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your self-assertion. Maybe you guys are really drawn to the colour yellow. Right now, wearing the colour yellow. Maybe you guys are being drawn to eat more yellow foods, like lemons and bananas and things like that. Um, or maybe just being drawn to like more citrusy smells, like aromatherapy. Or just being drawn to like crystals that help the solar plexus. Um, that's what I'm hearing like you guys have maybe been drawn to that because you're healing you're healing your solar plexus right now so these wounds of your ego and and um the past they're coming up for you to release you know um and we have free spirit as well the fact that i had the nine of pentacles the empress and the free spirit is that side i feel like you're stepping into a time where you're a lot more confident and that confidence is having you take more leaps of faith um step out and be yourself say what you want to say wear what you want to wear be carefree and not care what people have said about you you know you're very much embodying the empress as this new kind of level kind of reaches its peak and I really do feel like there's a lot of shifts coming, but you're welcoming them. You're taking the leaps then, you know? So the cards at the bottom, guys, we have um, Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seed in the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan. This is happening for a reason. You're shifting to come into alignment with something that you've either been manifesting or working towards or something that was always divinely orchestrated for you. I'm hearing the word healer, so I don't know whether you guys are here to heal people with your voice, Reiki, singing, acting, because they say healer and then they show Pisces. Um, so I don't know whether it's something in regards to that, like acting, singing, speaking, motivational speaking, drawing, painting, Reiki, healing, astrology, something like that. You're, you're here for a reason. And I feel like this, you've been following the breadcrumbs, you've been following the white rabbits, um, to find what your purpose is if that makes sense and i really feel like you're stepping into it in this new in this new phase but these energetic releases and shifts have to happen before you step into it is what i'm being told and then we have the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hit soul tribe i feel like a lot of um there's a lot of friendships coming your way in divine connections i feel like you guys have always felt like you didn't fit in um, but I feel like you're finding your tribe. Remember I said that you guys may have a significant soulmate or a soulmate friend? I see that. I really do see people around you that you can be your genuine self with. Um, people that really have your back. You've dealt with betrayal in, in the past and that actually added to your lack of confidence or your lack of trusting. And these people, even though you've done your healing, these people are coming in to um, teach you how to open up again and trust again. You know what I mean? Um, in a healthy way and teach you what loving connections are that's what's coming in in this new phase um i really would suggest guys grounding at this time i really would suggest grounding and just um trying to balance out your energy grounding going for a run um but meditating just to get your chakras in alignment what i like to do in the morning um once i've like you know worked out and i've you know grounded myself and i've protected myself what i like to do is i like to hold my hands over each chakra and i like to say um affirmations for each chakra um 
starting from the bottom all the way up to the top so that's what actually i'm hearing maybe would help you guys if you guys don't know any like affirmations you can basically google it but if you want to know more about the chakras i do have a playlist on my youtube if you go into my playlist and um i think i called it chakras 101 i have a video for like each chakra if you want to get into them a little bit stronger but um i really feel like that would help you come into alignment bringing them in maybe get a crystal for each chakra or something like that um and again if you're not sure what crystals to buy from the chakras i have that all on them videos as well um and the final card that i have for you guys is the elephant and it's funny that the elephant came out because before i actually tell you about the elephant at the back of the deck of tarot you have the tower, which talks about um, an ego death, death and rebirth, endings, right? And you also had change, literally change. And then you also had transformation. Um, so with that being said, all this change, all this shifting, I feel like it may have come very boom, you know? It kind of came out of the blue. I feel like you were going good and then you hit that you know, you, you're kind of feeling like Alice in Wonderland. That's how it's kind of feeling for you. And it's funny that the elephant came up, the elephant card came out last because when we look at the elephant, um, when we look at, um, for example, the Hindu god um, Ganesha, right? Ganesha is the remover of obstacles. And one thing about Ganesha is he isn't just the remover of obstacles. Sometimes he puts obstacles on your path to stir, like put you down another path that is more in alignment with your purpose so if you're going off track or um you know something's getting more of your attention than it needs to he will put an obstacle down that pathway to steer you in the right direction and i do feel like that's come into play here with this energy i do feel like I don't know whether you've been trying to hold on to a relationship, some of you, or friendship, or trying to grip on to the past. Um, and there's this energy of the universe, Ganesha, like everyone coming through and being like, no, nope, no, nope. you know what I mean? Like, no, nope. um, and trying to pull you off because it isn't right for you. And I feel like you're looking at it as a, um, you're looking at it as something that is painful and something that is something that's hurting you but i'm hearing it's a blessing in disguise if people are falling away from you spirit is saying it's a blessing in disguise and you'll understand why when you're feeling a lot lighter and you you'll you'll reach that point where you understand why things had to go the way that they did you know um but i want you to know that there's nothing wrong with you you're literally just releasing they're shifting you're moving into a new phase you know um and they're calling you to surrender we have the card at the back of the mermaid deck which is go with the flow. So spirit's calling you to surrender right now, you know? Sometimes we hurt ourselves more when we hold on. Whatever is falling away, it's because it's not supposed to be for us. We have to let go, you know? Let go and let the universe do its thing um, because your spirit guides are really supporting you. But through this time, I know what it's like, guys. I know how incredibly hard it can be. Um, please make sure you are looking after your mind, body, soul. You know, make sure you're doing some mindful meditations. You're not, you know, on social media here, there and everywhere, getting your mind, you know, all over the place. Um, make sure that you are moving about because honestly, guys, physical activity and moving that energy around your body helps. Whenever I start to feel low, I literally just go for like a quick 20 minute run or I just do a quick mini workout and that gets the energy moving around my body so that it's no longer stagnant, you know. And so you want to make sure that you're, you know, protecting your soul and um meditating and cleansing you know cleansing your soul and releasing what needs to be released and not trying to hold it off because this is what you have this away in you you know so spirit will like keep going you know keep shifting um ground yourself and just take care of yourself you know there's nothing wrong there's a big emphasis on there's nothing wrong you're just releasing so i want to keep saying that there's nothing wrong you're okay you know so that is all i have for you guys pile number two i really hope that you enjoyed i'm sending you guys lots of love and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching 
Hey pal number three, welcome to your reading. So we are currently taking a look at any energies or any messages that need to come through for you right now, whether it's your spirit guides, your higher self, any guidance that you need, any words of wisdom we are tapping in right now to see if we can help you on your journey. Um, So I'm going to start with the tower in the middle and then we'll move outward to the oracle cards. And you guys have the tower, the page of wands, the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like, um, I don't know whether you guys are letting go of someone or you're letting go of old wounds. A lot has come up in this reading about releasing and shifting, to be honest with you. Not just, like, you guys, but the other two piles as well. But this is coming through more as, like, um, past few, it feels like you've still got somebody in your life that you're um quite wary of it feels or you know isn't good for you or is just not they kind of feel like an energy vampire they don't feel like they're fully um honoring you in a way and i don't feel like this is something you don't know because we have the page of wands watching the seven of swords guy stealing the swords like i feel like you're very aware and if you're not aware then you're intuitively aware that this person is not um the best for you or you know someone that you should really be having around you is just coming through with somebody that's very sneaky um somebody that says i'm hearing somebody that says they'll do something but doesn't end up doing it or somebody that just doesn't um maybe have your back when you're not around for one or two of you i don't know why i just heard that i don't know what this is coming through either as a love connection or a friend but it's for some of you guys it's coming a bit across like um empath narcissist type of situation but for some of you it's just coming across as this person either being quite jealous or this person just taking advantage of being quite sneaky and i feel like you are intuitively aware of this in some sort of way like you're aware of this this person but there's almost this feeling of not wanting to let go of not wanting to release i don't know why i just shared secrets so i don't know why i just shared secrets that may resonate for one or two of you it's just popped up um but i'm just sharing this energy that you fear the tower moment when this person leaves you know sometimes i've had this energy myself where we have somebody in our life and we kind of want to keep them around and we know that we have to let them go um but then we start to think oh when i let this go that's it then this person isn't around and that thought alone can make us panic that tower moment of the situation can make us panic or make us worry or make us you know um want to hold them tight because we think of the highlights more than the actual situation itself that's kind of what's coming through here and spirit are really calling you to release if you need to release like i i just feel like this this there's an energy vampire here that is kind of draining you in a way because we have love this side of the reading but then on the other side of the reading we have light and i almost feel like you have such a warm heart you're so loving you're so nurturing i feel like this person takes advantage of that and steals your light steals your ability to maybe think straight sometimes or makes you question things or just maybe um there could be some sort of like lying here you know what i mean um and remember this is general guys so if this if this doesn't resonate then maybe just was in your pile these readings are just for whoever the message was needed for you know what i mean um when they clicked on this but there's an energy here of somebody in your camp like the snakes in the camp but i do feel you have a hunch of who this person is for some of you guys it could be a family member or like someone in your step family or something like that i don't know why i got taken to like a mother figure or a grandmother or stepmother or um mother-in-law or something like that um but there's there's a wariness here it's some for some of you guys you already know um to be wary of this person you know that's kind of like what's coming through us but i really am being called to tell you guys to really find that energy within yourself and that self-love within yourself to step away to move forward because what will come as you do that is the ace of wands and the ace of cups now obviously listen to your intuition if you don't feel like you can step away from this person that's completely like fine i'm hearing if you're in a situation where you literally can't let go of this person right now i'm hearing like 
set boundaries you know if you can't physically let go of this person right now set your boundaries lay your boundaries out um and really make sure that you're putting your needs on the table so that they know and i feel like some of you guys may worry that if you put a boundary down they leave anybody anybody that leaves your life because you've put in a boundary they're only leaving because they were benefiting because you were lacking them you know and they're not meant for us Whoever's meant to be in our life is supposed to love us unconditionally. I hope I'm not coming across too um, um, black and white blunt. You know what I mean? Because I know with situations like this, it can be quite triggering, especially if it's a relationship situation. Because it's, you know, when we're grasping to somebody or we're trying to hold on to a connection, it's, it's coming from a wound. And I don't want to um, trigger any wounds, but I just, there's, there's an energy here like this is not healthy or this is just not it's stunt in your growth or it's just it's it's a it's not allowing you to step into your highest potential because you're giving so much of your energy to this person and spirit's calling you to put all that energy back into yourself all of that love back into yourself um so that you can manifest and create the life that you want and draw in connections that are more healthy for you where you don't have to worry about what somebody's doing or you don't have to worry about what somebody's saying you know that's what i'm that's what i'm being told to say um and when we set boundaries we put in boundaries we put in boundaries out of love for ourselves. We put in boundaries for, for out of love for ourselves um, and for what we know we're worth. So I think that's why the love card has come up. For some of you guys, it could just indicate this was a love connection. But I really do feel like you overextend your heart so much because you have the most beautiful, pure heart. And Spirit's calling you um, to lay some boundaries with people that you feel may be sneaky because not everybody should have access to your heart. And I feel like you're such a beautiful soul i feel like you just want to give your heart to people um and just you know be open with people and vulnerable but there's some people in this world unfortunately that do take advantage you know and spirit's really calling you to find that light the light can here back to yourself see that you are the light and find that self-love within you and set those boundaries and have that courage because we have courage here have that courage to step forward um putting our needs on the table, you know, cutting out people that don't serve us, you know, not worrying about being on our own. A lot of the times when we hold on, it's because we don't want to be on our own, you know, or we fear rejection. But for you guys, I just feel like you just have a lot of love for this person or you just want to see the light in this person, you know, with the light card again, you, you're one of those people, you're definitely an empath, you see the light in people. And I see that. Um, but one thing that I will say um that i've learned because i'm the same i like to see the light in people and it's had me in very toxic situations we can't heal other people if somebody is repeating the same pattern and over and over again um we kind of have to step back um fill our own cup up and move forward with the light and just hope that they will find that light within them or even get inspired by us to find that light within them and move forward because if we keep focusing on filling somebody else's cup up and it's not being reciprocated we're just draining ourselves i've had to learn that myself you know and spirits calling to have courage to walk away and i feel like that would emotion like cause a lot of emotions here a lot of like a bit of a tower moment but evidently that tower moment is bringing you to the ace of cups where you'll be able to find a romance or a friendship or a connection where um you know they are on your level and they're able to reciprocate that energy and you are able to find forgiveness in that you know because i feel like you've been feeling down for some time you've been feeling down for some time because we have the humor card here i choose to focus on the lighter side of life there's a lot of energy signifying light you know i choose to focus on the lighter side of light and then you have the light like i just feel like i know you're searching for the light in maybe this person or other people around you but spirits calling you to look within and look for that light within you and realize that you are worthy of being treated with respect and not having people be like that around you you know what i mean you deserve to have fulfilling connections that truly love you you know and if they don't we want to really look at that and step away i know it's painful i've not only had to do this with friends i've had to do this with you know like boyfriends and i've had to do this with family members and if this is a family member as well i'm sending you guys a lot of love because i know how hard it can be to step away from family members if they're being like this but 
that you know i what i've learned stepping away from especially family members and i i can see that they're not going to do the healing work but what spirits kind of helped me learn was if i choose to heal the part of me that feels the need to fix and heal everybody else and i fix myself and i sort my wounds out and i move forward hopefully that will spark them to then go and go within and heal you know and sometimes even just our absence triggers something to heal within them and step up you know, and we've just got to move forward and hope that that happens, you know, but we can't keep lighting somebody's fire because at one point our own match is going to go out and they're going to run away with a bit of fire you just lit their match with and you're stuck there with a with a blunt match that's just not working anymore and you, you have nothing to ignite it with because there wasn't a back and forth. So you want to make sure that you're putting that energy within you, you know we then have star mother how can you mother yourself and i think that's really interesting because i feel like who i feel like you're overextending your energy for somebody right now um or you're just seeing the light in somebody um when they quite frankly looking at it in a very 3d perspective don't really deserve it you know and i feel like what, especially when we're overextending and we're healing and we're just trying to see the light sometimes if we are not putting in boundaries they usually come from our childhood and i don't know whether you had um a rocky childhood or maybe an absent mother or there were issues with your mother but spirits calling you to mother yourself maybe what you weren't learned as a, what you didn't learn as a child maybe apply that now mother yourself you know because the basic step of self-love and putting our needs first is boundaries with others. That's something that I was never taught myself. I had to put in later on. Um, and it can be foreign to stand there and say no. It can be foreign then to to stand there and say this is a boundary. Don't overstep it. I know how hard it is. You know, it can feel so foreign. You don't want to seem mean and you don't want to upset. And then there's guilt and there's, you know, you don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. Well, we have to do that. We have to put in those boundaries. It doesn't have to be in a nasty way, but we have to. Otherwise, in a sense, and I've learned this myself, if we continue to um, allow, we're evidently enabling the, um, the actions of that person to continue. We're enabling the behavior um, within them and ourselves. you know? So we've got to really mother ourselves and put the, those boundaries in and step away, you know? and we have transformation i think you're fearing a transformation when this situation ends you're fearing the feel the feelings that will come up you're fearing um the hurt um but like i said this is what's coming in the four ace cards when they show up in tarot they're such powerful energies and i really do feel yes there will be um a healing stage there will be a transformable time but that's bringing you into a lighter state where you can align with you know soulmates and people that are truly for you and you can feel that forgiveness and not be weighed down from the past you know and i do feel like that transformation is coming in and this person has come in to teach you how to heal how to release how to let go how to put in these boundaries they were mirroring a wound within you because we're always mirroring each other we're always teaching each other and that's what you were learning and the final card we have is the whale card, guys. And the thing about the whale is the whale can go into the deepest parts of the ocean. It's that strong to be able to go to the deepest parts of the ocean. And when we think of the ocean, it's water. And water is connected to our emotions. So spirits saying, don't fight these feelings of, I don't know, maybe you're fearing rejection, letting them go. Maybe you're just fearing being on your own and and what feelings that can bring up and spirits calling you i know a lot of you guys i'm hearing a lot of you guys may be cancers i'm actually hearing i'm seeing all the water signs like scorpio pisces but i'm being shown a big energy of cancer here an eighth house eighth house maybe you have a lot of planets in the eighth but um i feel like you feel emotions so deeply and i know that like maybe you're fearing that but this is almost like a journey back to self. You have to release and let go to be able to level up, you know? And I feel like a lot of healing is about to take place within you as you put these boundaries forward and you see that light within yourself and you demand what you're worth and you do not allow behaviours like that, you know? 
and spirit's literally holding your hand the whole way through that's what spirit are literally telling me to tell you and it's funny that you chose the malachite because the malachite is connected to the heart chakra so i do feel like this is something to do with your heart but it's like um i feel like it, this connection is actually restoring the balance to the heart there's so much pain sometimes because you overextend and you get none back um and what this is actually doing is having you take all of that energy and pull it inwards where you may have not had it in your childhood or in other connections and pull it inward and give it to yourself you know that's what i'm hearing um, but there's a lot of healing about to take place for you guys. I see a lot of healing. I see a lot of happiness about to come in. The fact that you have these two aces um, at the bottom of the tarot deck. There's a lot of abundance to come in for you, you know? Um, yeah, that's all Spirit really have to say is you. they're just kind of saying you know what to do. You know, you know what to do. Um and I just shared counselling. So if you guys are struggling, I definitely would suggest counselling. I'm going to throw Reiki in there too. Spirit didn't say that. I'm just saying it. Reiki healing. But Spirit just said counselling, you know. Um, so maybe take a look into that. If Because I feel like you guys have a lot of feelings. Maybe write them down, journaling, things like that. Um, but just know that the universe has your back, you know. And you are deserving of a beautiful, reciprocated love, you know please do not settle that's my message to you um so i really hope that that helped in any way you guys oh uh, before i even finish i'm looking down now and the two cards we have at the bottom of the deck here are freedom and healing spirit are calling you to heal and release this connection we have freedom here i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness maybe you were putting your happiness in this person but your happiness comes from within and that's where you're stepping to next, freedom. You're liberating yourself from this feeling. Yeah, that's just basically clarified. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope that brought you clarity. I'm sending you guys lots of love. Um, I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you guys are watching this. Um, and I will see you guys in my next reading, hopefully.